Well, hello everyone, Texie88 here and welcome to another review and now I'm bringing you Turrican 2, the final fight for the Amiga, after having just reviewed the first game. Now, this is, this is a game that I used to really love back in the day and, and this is my favourite, um, this is one of my favourite tunes of Chris Hughes-Beck in this game. And as he's... Yeah, they've added some sampled speech to the proceedings, so for, and, and you can jump on those and make them do that. You couldn't in the first game. Oh, this music is bringing back so many beautiful memories. It's lush. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, God. You can still you can still have your energy drained really heavily, and this bounce has its place when you and it was smart bomb there. And you get unlimited whirly gig um, things, and you have full control over it while you're doing that. You can make it a little bit of slowdown when the screen gets a bit on the busy side, but by and large, it's not too bad. One up. one up. Not going to sniff at a one up. Now I'm back at the start area again. Oh, I love this music. Chris Hughesbeck once again delivering the audio, audio goods. And here's the new look uh, surround weapon. I love that sound. The sound effects in this is so good, and and as usual, so is the music. I could do the boxing. Oh, I could do the weapons box. Please, I need a weapons box. Oh, damn it! You bastard. As in the previous game, it doesn't take you send you right back to the start every time you die. Oh. something. Ah, there you go. Oh, crikey! Jesus, those things take off and sun. And you can also lay these mines while you're in that whirly gig mode. Yeah, God, did I need that shield. Yes, I did. So, it's the answer to that question. God, this is such a great title. took off a shitload of energy. You bugger. Thank God I got that one up that time. Get up there. a couple of power lines there, not really enough room to use them there. Don't know why the game just paused then. See that, see that, although the bounce is a little bit on the weak side, it does have its uses at times. 
Oh. Oh, this music is gorgeous. No, I'm going that way, because if I go that way, I'll get hurt by the wind. And he's a boss. If you know exactly where to stand, you can just beat him every time. He is a bit easy, but then he is only the first boss. Oh god, another of these irritating jumps. But at least, at, least, at least you don't get nearly as many of them in this from what I remember. Oh, you shitbag. Oh, this, is, this game is an absolute delight. Oh, now I get power up when I just died. Give me something else. I don't want the bounce here. Oh. I love that sound effect when you jump on the heads of those things. I wish you could do that in the first game, but alas and alack, you can't. Uh, some of the jumps in this are, are really quite high, and you have to make sure you hold down up to... Yeah, unfortunately, it is up to jump on this uh, in order to... Oh, damn it! Oh, never mind. I don't think I'm going to be asked to do all that. Please, no jump. Oh, I didn't take off too much. That's not too bad. God, this game just plays so well. Oh, yeah, that's how I get that one up. I did think I needed to get that because I lost a couple of silly lives a moment ago. See, why couldn't there have been, uh, been more platforms like this in the first game, rather than having all those ones where, if you, where you had all of those ones which were right directly above one another? Those were really annoying and they didn't need to be. Yeah, those things follow you, so they're a bit of a pain in the arm. Ah, here's the exit. Oh, then this I'm in definitely enjoying more than the first game. And I remember that there are some bits later on where you actually get into a spaceship, so there's some variety as well. Graphics, they're stunning. Oh, a little bit, lots of slowdown in there. That bit could have been better designed to get around that by not having quite so many fish. Oh, I want to get that. I want the laser. Yeah, now we're cooking. Oh, now I've lost it again. I'll get them and so I'll get the lane.
Come on, drop. Well, they're not going to drop. They're not going to drop, are they? Bastard. 2 1 up. Oh, I guess I should have left. I've only got a tiny sliver of energy. Oh, God. You fucker. Ah, flipping out. Ugh. See, when you lose a life field of a weapon you're currently holding, weakens a little. See, my laser isn't quite as advanced as it was even before I died. Nice big levels in this. And and then lots of uh, lots of graphical detail as you can see. And it's games like this that make you realise why the Amiga was considered to be such a great machine. Not just for games, but in, but in general, you could you could you could even do uh, do business related stuff on it. It's just unfortunate that its uh, reputation as a game machine meant that it didn't quite get recognised for that in quite the way that I wish it wish it had. another boss. Damn it, you, you bugger. Damn it. Well, that's that's Turrican 2 for the Amiga, an absolute classic and a, and it's crashed. At least you saw the game. So that's Turrican 2 for the Amiga, an absolute cast iron classic. Improved some irritations from the previous game, and 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 generally improves uh, certain other aspects all round, like being able to turn into the whirly gig thing as many times as you like, rather than being limited to three. Graphics are superb. Music and sound effects are superb. Again, the music's done by Chris Hillsbeck, who returning from his from having not have content with having scored the first game he does a brilliant job on the second as well um 
gameplay plays like a dream. There are far fewer platform related irritations in this. And as I said, although I didn't get there in this, there are some later levels in which you take control of a spaceship. And in all fairness, those just have to be seen to be believed because they are. They also help to break up the monotony, monotony a little. I mean, if they come just at the point before it just gets too stale, and then it switches back to the, the regular on foot stuff that you're used to. So, you know, admittedly, there are still one or two uh, aspects of the, of jump of jumping that are a little bit annoying, but uh, it's still I'd still happily give Turrican Two on the Amiga nine out of ten. It is an absolute classic. If you haven't tried it and you're into retro gaming, especially on the Amiga, then it's definitely worth a look. Even if you found the first game annoying, I think you'll really enjoy this sequel. It it it, it does genuinely improve on things. I'm, it may be a criticism that it's a bit too similar to its predecessor, but uh, it 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 improves on it enough that I can I'm willing I'm personally I'm willing to forgive it for that. So hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie eighty eight out.